have you started your Christmas shopping? I know it may seem early, but yes, certainly people are starting to think about it. More importantly, how to budget for the holiday season. And that's what we're going to be talking about right now with Lama Farran. She is a certified money coach. Welcome to the show, Lama. Thank you, Laura. I first want to ask, what is the difference between a money coach and someone who's a financial planner? Yeah, well, financial planners focus more on investments, and I do more the day-to-day of -day, uh, money management, yeah. especially with debts. You know, when it comes to people dealing, how, how do I get rid of my debts? How mm. do I budget? Uh, how do I save for certain goals? Right. So I really focus on that side and also on the behavioral side of money. Mm. You know, if you're a couple and you're always fighting about money. There's a lot of emotion attached to money, oh, right? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Okay, well, let's talk about budgeting because tis the season to budget. Yes. The first <laughs> thing, and this is something I do, is make a list before you head out. Yes, and by list, I don't mean taking a little post-it note and jotting down a few names. Like, you have to be really, really more thorough. And basically think of everybody that you're going to give to. It including the gift exchanges at work or the uh, you know the school teachers and then wake make your way back up so let's say you um, decide that you're gonna spend five hundred dollars this holiday season so then you can allocate an amount to each person so you divide it up and don't forget the taxes because otherwise and, you're gonna and all go the little over things too like the box exactly. of chocolates the bottle of wine yes. okay interesting the next is be creative. This is I'm not a creative person, so I, if you want me to do any gifts myself, that's going to be yeah. hard. <laughs> well, people right away think about material gifts, mm -hmm. but how about non-material ones? You know, like if you have friends who have kids, they would love getting a babysitting session from you, right? And it's oh, not going to cost you anything. It's just going to cost you your time, maybe your sanity as well, but that's a different <laughs> topic. But, you know, like give something that people don't really expect and that you can't find in the store. It's the thought that counts, right? Exactly. That's how the saying goes. The next one is pay, I love this, pay only cash or debit. Yeah, because people hate getting the credit card in January. So just to avoid that whole post-holidays financial blues, mm. just pay cash or debit and you're done. Yeah, it's so take for. out the 500, this is what I have to spend. Exactly. And then once it's done, it's mm. done. Yeah. The next one is, is you know you want to give as much as, you, as as much as you can, but you also have to be considerate of your financial situation yeah. and other people's financial yeah. situations. Well, what happens is as a money coach, I really work a lot with people who struggle financially all year round mm -hmm. and the holidays is particularly stressful for them. So I really encourage those people to just be very straightforward and honest with your close family and friends and tell them, you know what, those gifts are going to put a dent in my finances and I right. cannot do it. Yeah. And I can guarantee you no one will love you less because of that. You know, yeah. if anything, they'll appreciate your honesty and maybe they're going through the same thing. They're just not saying it out loud, right? Nobody goes yeah. around saying out loud. No, it's, it's good advice. And last yeah. but not least, don't have much time left, but I, I have to get this one in. After all this is done, start planning and saving for 2017. Yes. yes. <laughs> so let's say you ended up spending $600 this holiday season. So divide 600 by 12, that's $50 a month. Open a savings account just for holiday savings and transfer every month $50 to it throughout the year. And guess what? The holidays 2017 is going to be saved up for throughout the year. Okay, so yeah. next to your vacation uh, savings account, exactly. start a Christmas holiday saving account. Thank you yeah. so much, Lama. Thank you, That's Laura. Very good advice.